Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you have been following me closely on this channel itself, you will know that I recently started selling customized G-Shock watches as my side hustle. In this video, I'm going to share about how much profit I made in the month of September, exactly what the watches I sold were, and finally my biggest target that I'm setting for myself in October so that I can earn the most amount of money. Right now, I'm also starting a Telegram channel. It will be the link in the description box below. You can also connect with me, ask me questions. You can also find out when my latest sort of videos will be posted, whether my YouTube shorts or my YouTube long form videos they will all be posted there. So let's talk about how much money I made in September itself. So basically I started selling G-Shock watches since July and I have earned about $300 from the month of July all the way to September itself. Basically the start of September itself. But this video I want to talk about how much I earned in September itself. So $300 will be for the first two months, July, August, September. So about two months or so and then in the month of September itself just this month itself I've earned exactly that same amount which was $300 as well so I basically earned the profit I was earning for two months just in a month itself so that's basically my biggest month ever which is a really really good thing for me I'm really really happy really really excited about it as well compared to the previous few months where I would sell several watches in a week this once a month itself it has been pretty decent in a sense where it's been pretty average where I would net about one watch a week I'll be selling about one watch a week Week. Previously, I had my sales all in a couple of uh, apps, which was Carousel, Facebook Marketplace, and eBay. eBay didn't really get me anything or any sales at all, but I'm just posting there, hoping that one day maybe perhaps eBay can possibly uh, net me some sales as well. But basically, all of my sales in September came from the same app, which was Carousel, but I'll share more about that later on. I sold four main watches in September. Two were the stainless steel bands with the rainbow hour markers that I had to customize a lot more. One was a stainless steel band with the white hour markers. And the last one would be the watch with the orange rubber strap with the orange hour markers, which was actually my favorite, but I had to give it away or rather I had to sell it away. So this is exactly the breakdown on each individual watch itself. For the rainbow watches itself, I think I earned about $100 per watch itself. They were really, really popular online. And if you're looking at eBay or even Carousel, the rainbow watches can sometimes sell to $250 to almost $500 on eBay. Of course, I sold them a little bit more cheaply because I would research and see what my sort of competitors are selling for. And then from there, I undercut my prices a little bit just to make sure that I would be the leading sort of competitor and people would buy from me instead. My favorite one like I mentioned just now was honestly this one over here which was the orange band with the orange hour markers. It looks kind of goofy in the pictures itself but actually in real life it actually looks even better and when I put it on I really really considered just keeping it for myself. I was just telling myself if it doesn't sell out I'm just going to keep it for myself but now that it's really sold out oh well I can always just reward myself by buying myself another watch but for the two rainbow ones one I sold it at $230 the second one I sold it at $240. The rainbow hour markers, I got them for free from my watch supplier. So basically, it cost me about $100 to buy the watch itself. It cost me about $50 to buy the band itself. So $150 will be my cost price. I sold them for about $230 and $240. So total would be $80 and $90 for the profit itself. The silver stainless steel watch with the white hour markers, I was in for about $80 for the cost price of the watch and about $50 for the band. So that's about $130 I was able to sell it if I'm not wrong for about $185 so total up would be around $55 profit for that for the orange watch with the orange hour markers same thing as well $100 for the watch $50 for the band $150 I was able to sell it for about $195 so that's $45 profit so totaling up all together they are about $270 kind of profit nearing that $300 mark which was close to what I was earning for uh, all the four or rather all the six watches that I sold in the first two months itself the strange thing that happened this month was that my my thoughts and observations from the previous two months were actually wrong or rather they didn't turn out to be the same thing which was actually an interesting thing to note because my general hypothesis before that was that the black stainless steel bands was the one that was more popular and because they were sold out faster but now it seems to be the other way around all my silver stainless steel bands were sold out but the black stainless steel bands were mostly still with me I only sold one this month and I still have a couple more few in my collection so perhaps the results for the first two months were not the most accurate I just based them on for the first six watches that I sold and then I ordered the next batch of sort of watch bands based on that data I thought that the black bands which was sold faster would be the one that I would be more interested in or rather what people would be more interested in and then I should buy them as well but perhaps I have to wait for more sales to come in more data to be collected and then I can decide on what the next batch of watches I should go for so this is the interesting part which was where I sold all my watches this month just now when I mentioned I mentioned three places that I sold them Carousel, Facebook Marketplace and eBay eBay I don't want to talk about 
about it really didn't really sell much. I think in the last month itself, or rather the first two months itself, I actually sold an even amount of watches, which was three on Carousel and three on Facebook Marketplace, which was a very even spread, very, very nice even spread. But this month itself, this month, this was the interesting thing, was that four watches that I sold all sold on Carousel and nobody, or rather no watches were sold on Facebook Marketplace itself or eBay. Facebook Marketplace is the interesting one because on this month itself, I actually got a lot of sort of messages from people on Facebook Marketplace. People are telling me that they are actually interested in a watch and they want to buy the watch from me. But usually they will text me and they will say, hey, is this still available? And then I'll be like, yes, this is still available. And then blow thick, you know, like how you send a WhatsApp message. And then they don't, they just don't reply you at all. I'm like, why do you guys do this? Like, why do you message me in the first place if you have no intention of, you know, buying from me or rather even replying me, you know, I'm okay even if you just reply me and say that, oh, okay, I am not interested in it anymore. It was just an impulse decision to really contact you to ask if this watch is still available then yeah fine but it's a little bit rude you know like just to ask for something and then not reply it and you know i don't know what's going on but hopefully the impressions i get on facebook marketplace can still be the same and hopefully more people message me about it and serious buyers will emerge and basically buy from me from facebook marketplace my biggest guess was that it basically caught a lot of people's attention but a lot of people did not act on this impulse to buy these watches as usual ebay is still disappointing but let me try to upload a few more photos a few more listings on ebay to see if we can really increase the number of views and make sure that the algorithm kind of catches us a little bit and perhaps boost my sales a little bit like that because eBay is really to worldwide kind of sales and if I can open that up I think I'll be able to sell a lot more watches. For the watches that I'm selling on Carousel and Facebook Marketplace I'm still getting quite a lot of views basically around one to two thousand kind of views on Carousel. Facebook Marketplace I think we are getting a maybe a few hundred kind of views or perhaps 50 to 100 kind of views every single day so I still am going to post on these two sort of platforms the most consistently. I'm going to mix up and switch the different combinations and then post more consistently every month so that I can boost the views on these two platforms itself. These are going to be my bread and butter, the main platforms that I'll be using in order to earn money. So then we come to the most important part of this video, which is the strategy for the upcoming month itself, what I plan to do in October in order to boost my sales and really to earn the most amount of money that I've ever earned for all the months combined. I plan to customize a few more watches, primarily these few ones. I think some people even ask me, how do I choose what watches to customize? So I actually mix in a few variations or rather a few factors which is I have to like the watch or rather I would like to like the watch and I really find combinations that I prefer or rather combinations that I find that's cool and then I also do some research to see how they are also doing or how people are perceiving them on my competitors because of websites and listings itself and see how popular they are. You can really see and most of these listings if they're really popular you can see that they have a lot of uh, likes and you know people watching them so those are the ones that I'm really watching. Basically I'm going to go for this white one with this black bezel, a black with golden one this Tiffany blue band with blue hour markers and getting more stainless steel silver rubber straps for standby. I'm also going to get more silver stainless steel bands to put on standby because that seems to be the one that sold out this month so I'm going to keep them as well. The target this month will be a whooping $500 because this time I will be customizing the watches a little bit more. You'll see that generally on top of just changing the band itself, I'm also going to change the hour markers like these rainbow ones or the Tiffany blue ones. How I would like to hit this target is I just have to sell 5 watches, a little bit more than before but basically 5 watches and this profit margin is a little bit higher if you can sell them each for about $100 profit. Then then I'll be hitting at that $500 target. Honestly, the goal is not important at all. It's just something fun for me to strive for. The ROI is really in the doing and the enjoying in the process. It's just like how I'm doing this YouTube channel right now. I don't know whether this video will do well. I just am going through the, I wouldn't say going through the motion, but rather I'm going through this whole process of enjoying myself and trying to find ways to enjoy myself. Honestly, the money that I earn from this side hustle, you know, $300 here, $300 there, it is still money. It's still a lot of money. It's not a small sum of money, but it's not anything that that's life changing and I honestly feel that it's just something that's been fun to start this side hustle you know. It's nice to be able to do this online because you see what time is it right now it's like 10 p.m at night and you know I'm still able to do this side hustle and which is very very nice because it's nice to know that you can actually put in time after work and really start a side hustle and still earn some money from it you don't have to be tied to a physical location or tied to you know going up to show up for work and maybe just working only during the day hours. I honestly wish I started this earlier when I was a little bit younger but you know it's 
it's better late than never. Those of you who are also planning to start side hustles, it may not be this G-Shock side hustle, but whatever you want to try, just go try it. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of motivation, a little bit of push, and hopefully a little bit of positivity as well, knowing that it's possible to really succeed in doing it. Whether it really succeeds or not, like I mentioned before, it's not important. The success comes in terms of you trying and being able to taste and try something new. I would like to do this a little bit more, which is I want to be brave and do more in my life. I've spent a good majority of my life just not knowing what to do, you know, no, not having enough exposure to things and giving myself the excuse that I don't know what I want in my life. So basically, this is my chance or rather this is my opportunity to really give myself that chance to try things out and to taste things and see how they feel, how they make me feel and whether I'm happy doing them. And why not earn some money from it as well? Hopefully you guys try more new experiences and try more new things when you're younger so that you can become a little bit more happier and a little bit more self-aware. Stay happy and grateful. For those of you guys who have watched till here, thank you so much for watching. Follow for more and I'll see you guys in the next few videos. Bye-bye.